The Boeing 767-300ER and the Airbus A33200, two aircraft built for the same mission, long-haul, mid-size transatlantic workhorses. But which one really gave airlines the better deal? The 767-300ER entered service in the late 1980s, quickly becoming the backbone of long-haul fleets. It is lighter than the Airbus, with famously powerful General Electric CF6 engines. Pilots loved its raw climb performance and forgiving handling. This was a jet that could muscle off shorter runways and still cross the Atlantic with confidence. Airbus struck back in the 1990s with the A33200. It carried more width in the cabin, giving passengers and airlines flexibility in seating layouts. Its design favoured payload range balance, fewer seats than the bigger A33300 but legs long enough to stretch deep into Asia or South America. With modern avionics and efficiency, it became the logical rival to Boeing's mid-size star. The difference is philosophy. The 767-300ER was overpowered and light, built in an era where thrust solved most problems. The A33200 was engineered later, wider, more efficient, and optimized for endurance. Boeing gave airlines a rugged workhorse, Airbus gave them a flexible platform that could scale. Both proved their worth. The 767-300ER served transatlantic fleets for decades, while the A33200 found global reach across every continent. Today, many airlines still operate both side by side. Ask a pilot, they will tell you the 767 had more grunt. Ask an airline CFO. The A330's economics were hard to ignore. So which aircraft really won the mid-size long-haul crown, Boeing's lighter, overpowered 767, or Airbus's wider, more efficient A330? Was it muscle or was it money?